Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to create a covered or waffle ceiling in Revit. Let's get started. So I did this model back in 2015 uh, after I graduated college. Uh, the reason I did this is so that I could add more renderings to my portfolio so that I could get a job. And it did work. When I showed this to my employer, she liked it and she hired me on the spot. So let's start with this. So it took a while for Revit to convert a 2015 file to current 2020 that I'm using. So once Revit convert this, you just need to save so that you don't do the same hassle again. So I just want to show you guys um, what I did here. So I created a living room, kitchen. I also created the second floor where multiple rooms i think i have the master bedroom here this is another room i believe i deleted the wall here so that i could create a picture better and also there's a room here so if we go to the view 3d view 12 this is what i created so some of the, the blocks here are from Revit City. So especially the statues. I believe the bed as well. I think I created this, created the curtain. So this file is actually very big already. So what I'm going to do is let's open up. A new project and I'll explain there how you, we could create this. Let's start with the wall. Um, we'll probably size at the moment it doesn't matter. Let me erase this. It's too small. Let's go back. Wall. 2000. And then let's do, I think, 4500. And let's close this up. Let's do a floor first. locked it so that when if you move the wall it will move as well check um, next is let's create a ceiling so let's use this edit type let's duplicate this um, let's put this let's name this co cover for waffle Press OK. Let's delete this finish part. Uh, thickness, let's put it in 300. Um, for materials, uh, let's put something white. Press OK. Let's sketch. And then it's okay. I believe the wall is very high. Let's change the height by selecting all the walls. Um, I'm holding on the control and then selecting the walls. 
that's connected to up to level two. Press apply. So now it's good enough height. Let's create a section so that uh, we could see when we're doing the coffered. So the next step here is so the height here 2800, good enough for now. You can actually put it up. Let's put it in 3000. By the way, the units I'm using is millimeter. You can check the units or you can change the unit by pressing UN. So I'm using millimeters and press OK and change it there if you want. So the next step is uh, let's go to 3D view. I'm going to isolate this. So isolate this element. I'm going to go back to floor. We're going to create a model in place. Let's go ceiling. Ceiling void. Press OK. And then let's create the void extrusion. So let's create something like this. Maybe we could do 1000. And 1000. Let's move it. Let's copy this. And then check multiple. Let's select everything and then copy as well. Before finishing it, let's go to our section. Let's go, this is the void form, this is the solid, so let's put it roughly in the middle, and then let's use align tool, okay, so now our void form, it's right there, I'm just estimating the middle here. And then before you click finish, you need to cut geometry. So you will need to press the, the solid form first and then the void form. Let me do that again. And there we have it. You can finish. And let's see it on 3D view. So now we will need to model in place. We need to model in place a sweep here, but because we're creating a lot of sweep. We have to create it individually. So what we have to do is we need to create a profile so that everything is similar. So let's create a family. So a new family. Let's create a profile hosted open so now 
the orientation that we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna put it up so remember that we created a 300 millimeters and half of it is a void form so now let's put this line 150 this one maybe 100 and then let's create the profile that we want So I'm happy with this. So I'm going to save this to my desktop and then I'm going to load it into my project. So now let's go to our 3D view. So model in place. Let's do ceiling ceiling number one click sweep click the path so here so you click the path that you want the 3d path that you created now we loaded the profile here it is sweet profile so when you loaded it you'll have your profile right here ready you just need to click finish and there you have it you can change your, the materials right here let's pick the clad white as well and then finish it unfortunately you need to create all of this individually but because you have the profile it's going to be easier for you you don't need to draw the profile one by one so once you finish all of them, you can see that that the profile is good. Everything is identical. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.